Okay. Round two. Fatality. やめてよ。ここにきっと何かあるはず。<笑><笑> Resonance Misaki, Misaki Asu. Oh. It's the camera. Yay! This is the camera I bought. I brought from home. When did it fall down there? This notebook talks about the camera. When did it get here? This prototype camera obscura, as proof of our research, is entrusted to descendants of the Asu family. This is the first successful copy of the camera obscura that I've thought of as a strong example of my work, the first solid step towards conclusive evidence of the theory of my predecessor and I. Okay, Frieza, sounds good. Okay. It hasn't been attempted, but my theory that images of the dead may be sealed inside the form inside the film is feasible. However, Shinto priests and shrine maidens are sensitive to spirits and as long and it has a strong effect on them. The prohibition of its use is expected. <laughs> You left her behind. Don't you know what that's what happens at scary places? First they isolate you and then they kill you. Madoka's voice. It's a nurse call from room 203. I wonder if Madoka is in this room. It seems to adjust the numbers on the device. Shinies? I hear shinies. <gasps> shinies everywhere! from this hospital. 
Yes, we heard the shinies. Say again. <laughs> Occupants in Regetsu Hall as of August 1970. Room 203. Hara Izuki, Month of Purity. Madoka Tsukimori. Special notes: the patient is introverted and seems that, uh, and it seems that other patients of her age. Seems that uh, I can't. Um, it seems that another patient of her age is bullying her. Please keep an eye on her. Eat something. Food is tasty. Room two hundred four in Getsu, month of shadows. Ayori Aiba. Special notes: previous to the death of Miss Hinamua. Did I say that right? Hinumua. Hinuma. Hinuma. The patient was to be moved to Hybara has Hospital proper. However, she confined herself in her room and refused to leave. We are required to exercise force in moving the patient. Be prepared in case of further in infractions. Room 205. Ugetsu. Month of Rain. Yoriko Sonahara. Special Notes. As there is no reaction when she looks in the mirror, she is not yet budding. However, her motions and actions are very unstable due to the de deterioration extremely unstable from a worsening of memory loss. Please monitor her carefully. Room 206. Shuogetsu. I think that's how you say it. Shuogetsu. Shuogetsu. Kazudo Amaki. Special notes. Terrible stealing habit. Does not heed warnings. Please make a report if you find anything. Reclaiming the stolen property will anger him unnecessarily. But if you ask him politely, he won't resist and will return the items. Okay. Last person. Room 207. And get to. Month of Orchids. Ayako. Special notes. Strongly aggressive personality. Her cruel pranks often cause problems and injuries for the staff, including she cut my ear with a knife, in parentheses. <laughs> Please monitor each person carefully. Yeah. Prank. No. That's I'm... some prank. I don't want to do that. Oh. Picture. Click. Patient before ward door. That's that one guy who attacked us. Now we know why he attacked us. He's a mental patient. Second floor nurse log one. An old journal is here. The children keep playing pranks, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. The door's release code is periodically changed, but it somehow keeps getting leaked. It seems that the password game, as they call it, is becoming popular with the children. In the game, the door's release code is written somewhere. A hint is given, and they make a game of searching for it. They are given a harsh scolding, and please note that the director has said to be more careful with the management office door in the future. If the door is opened, I fear that the patients may wander away. To prevent an incident like that from happening again, if you see the, if you see the code scribbled anywhere, please erase it. Shiny, shiny, shiny. By installing the invade, you can now duck. Because you know it was hard to do that before. Don't remember what evade does. There's another shiny somewhere. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, excuse me. I have no idea, Frieza. <laughs> I wish they'd just, like, you know, put a fresh cheeseburger somewhere. That would be neat if you could just walk around and pick up fresh cheeseburgers when you're hungry. Yeah. What? <laughs> Sarah doesn't agree. Should be locked. Yep. Door's locked. Thank you for clarifying. <sighs> Let's go find the password. It's a Shinto gate. 
Hey, it makes about as much sense as, y you know, deadly ghosts running around. Chinese? I don't like that sound. What sound? I heard thumping noises. Crystal. You're hearing things. No, I'm not. <laughs> It was behind you. <laughs> <laughs> that was freaky. I, I was hearing it in my headphones. So it's more freaky that way. No, ghosts are totally understandable. Deadly ghosts are not. Something it's just as paper. real as the idea of a cheeseburger being left around randomly. To all the employees, a new patient Ayako will be admitted to room 207 of the Rogetsu Hall this weekend. Ayako is being referred to, referred by Dr. Hibara. Therefore, we want to exercise the utmost care to make her stay at our in institution as pleasant as possible. Everybody, please treat Ayako with the greatest consideration, even though she cut my ear with a knife. Aren't wait, poultry wait, wait. guys invisible and they just move stuff around? Turn around, turn around. What they should have is poultry guys. Then we can just have ghosts clucking at us. <laughs> there are no ghost chickens in <laughs> Fatal Frame. Sad. I don't know. I think a ghost chicken flying at your face would be pretty scary. Yeah! <laughs> See, Frieza understands! What's well, a doll in there? The picture is drawn in crayon. Looks like it was drawn by a child. A drawing of a clock. I saw this somewhere. Hello, new person! Hey, sir! Boop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell people what that's from! Okay, if you don't know what that sound is from, it's a Briupia dragon from the anime series 07 Ghost. I won't say any more than that, because anybody who hasn't watched it that's going to watch it would have the story spoiled. Is so you shouldn't seen it. <laughs> Yay! I'm making Sarah watch it. Yeah. She said, watch this. And I said, okay. Hi, miss. It's Tony. I am killing more ghosts. Face of the moon. Blah blah blah. They're strange gashes. I felt a small, so, uh, strong presence. What if I took a picture with it? Okay. Keys. Can their hints be, you know, any more obvious? I guess they could. Point the camera at the base and take a picture. Let's see what happens. There we go. That'd be more obvious. What? Nothing. I was reading the chat. I, I'm just. You were ignoring me. <laughs> Eight three nine five. Eight three nine five. I guess you better remember it. <laughs> Eight three. <laughs> Let's just throw the clues at you. <laughs> Ads have gotten a lot longer. Oh, oops. <laughs> What's gotten a lot longer? Ads. Oh, yeah. Huh. 
<sighs> Where are you going? I'm going back here. I have to put in the eight, three, nine, five. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the numbers they threw at you. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> 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 uh <-huh. laughs> I almost ran into her. <laughs> Where's the shiny? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Eight. Three. Nine. Maybe that's because I'm a girl. Actually, I've been told that someone asked if I was 12. I'm not 12. Ah! You haven't heard my girliest laugh. Awesome. Yes, yes, you're you're crying. You scared the crap out of me when I opened this door. Well, you do have to admit you are kind of jumpy. It's been unlocked. What's down here? That's what's down here. A few sheets of paper. I heard a shiny. Yes. Where? Don't know. Probably through a wall. Hmm. The door is firmly shut. Not locked. It's just shut. Wait till I start using the next character. <sighs> that voice. Was it Madoka? The door is locked. Okay. There's 
a shiny. No letter fell out of the crack. When you see this, I will no longer be in this world. When my mother gave birth to me, she died in order to let me live, to protect me. My father and my brother died in an accident, to protect me. What kept me alive after their deaths is the memory I have of them, and the terrible guilt I feel for still being alive. This illness is robbing me of even that. The family that only exists in my memory is slowly being slowly killed off. I can't take it anymore, living while slowly losing the memories of those people who are dearest to me. Still, the most frightening thing is losing the guilt, I feel. I am not afraid of killing my family once again. I will leave this world, and what little memories I have left, as long as I am still me. You killed your family? I guess she killed herself, because she's her own family now. Something appeared. Room with books. Where is this? There's so many books. Let's see. Let's finish exploring the rest of this hallway. Don't think I can go in here. Or maybe I can? I can. Chinese? So they can be victims. I see no shinies in here. Alright. <sighs> it's a door. <laughs> Stop getting stuck on the door. There. Head toward the light. Locked. I see no shinies. Oh, there we go. Ew. All she has to do is blow at the door hard enough. It's gotta be close to crumbling. A hard glare should make it fall over. Poof. I guess there's another shiny here somewhere. Broken door, blah blah blah. Whoa, there's a noose in there. See? Yeah, she killed herself. That's what she was saying. I know. She didn't expect to see the noose in there, that's all. I can't go in here. Nope. Okay. Where's the blue light coming from? I don't know. Behind you. That's to the left of me. Now it's in front of me. But I see no shiny. And there's nothing to take a picture of. Okay. Maybe it's just telling you there's a ghostly presence in the room. So now I need to figure out... ...where the books are. Didn't she already comment on it? She's like, there's just lot there's lots of books. Are we going to go complain to management? There it is. It's downstairs. I guess that's a no. No, we're not going to complain to management.
wonder if management could provide some end dust for ghosts. They are kind of dust like. Kinda. <laughs> Girl standing on stairs. What do you want? She wants to cut off your ear? Get away from me! Is it this way? Yes. Yeah, they all run pretty slow in these games. I'm used to it. I thought I heard something. A thunking noise? What was that thumping noise? <laughs> Tales of Monkey Island. So awesome. Sorry, thumping sound. Thumping! <laughs> what is that thumping sound? This is the scary room. Because it has masks and they're staring at you? No. It's because there's a fight in here that I don't like. Oh. The bookshelf is built with books! Shinies. She might be able to do a marathon if the others were like, well, you know, the Special Olympics. Oh god. Turn around! <laughs> oh. I have no idea what he's saying. It sounds like. Wah, wah, wah. How are you? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Standing right next to it, I think. Dolly? Maybe. Dolly? There. <laughs> I, think I think you got it. Yeah. Go back upstairs. Plenty of opportunities to be attacked by mean ghosts. Don't remind me. Go 
ghosts. They're coming for you. See? Woman standing before mask. Okay. Uh, is she still standing there? Yep. I can't leave. I guess you have to approach her. She's gone. Yeah, don't be fooled. There. Something is shaped like a pe Okay, have fun. Okay. No, it's about the black mask. There you go. <laughs> On this island, there is a Kagura during the lunar eclipse. On the day of the lunar eclipse, the minds of the living lean toward death, and the souls of the dead come forth from the gate of the underworld. The moon symbolizes the soul on this island, and it is thought that the lunar eclipse eats away at the soul. Next. In the literature I read, it mentioned a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse that was once used in the festival of this island. There is some very old, fragmented literature about the black mask that caused the disaster, the day without suffering, long ago. I tried asking the head of an influential island family about it, but he wouldn't tell me anything, and his facial expression was one of terrible fright. On this island, touching that mask is considered serious taboo. Taboo. Even though it's risky to offend the islanders, I want to see it with my own eyes to examine it myself. Perhaps it is a powerful clue which will lead to the other world. My voice is just perfect for this game, isn't it? Yeah. I should do the, the whispery, mysterious, scary thing instead of the la 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 thing. Y what? You're, you're fine. Okay. Fallen girl. <laughs> holy Creepy girl. Holy freaking crap. Oh. There's something there. I saw a vision of the past. What? There's an alarm going off. It's a patient going, help me, help me, help me. Or it might be a prisoner escaping. Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> hey. Wow, she just blended right in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get off. Hey, wench. She thinks you're an escaped prisoner. I'm she not! Kitty, kitty, goo.
doll. Oh, maybe not. Looked like a doll. Old diary. August 9th. Evening. It's bedtime, but if I can't sleep, I start to get scared. It's dark. I can see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, it looks strange. My eyes look strange. My nose looks strange. My mouth looks strange. My head feels strange. I want to get rid of Ayako, but if I do, I feel like I'll lose something. That's why I hope I can sleep tonight. That made total and complete sense. Yeah. Box. <gasps> oh, yes. That is completely and totally awesome. Yeah, I thought there was a doll next to the chair, too. Shinies everywhere. Old letter. <clears throat> Dear Madoka, how are you? Have you decided on a name for the canary I gave you? I'm sorry for leaving you alone all the time, but I'm always thinking about you. Take the crayons with you, okay? You like drawing pictures, so I'm sure it'll make you happy. The doctors would also like it. He says that drawing pictures will help you get better, so please draw. I think it's very frightening that you are forgetting so many things, but Madoka, you are from the Tsukimori family, so the moon will always protect you. That's why there's no need to worry. Do exactly as Dr. Hybara says, and be a good girl for mother. I'll come check up on you again soon. Love your mama! Measure. Yay! That Would you like to take a measuring tape to the ghosts. That shows you how much hit points I have. Many paintings and stuff. Doll? No doll. I thought it was next to the chair, but I might be completely wrong. There's a teddy bear without a head. Oh, okay. See? Yeah. I made the same mistake you did. You're ad-libbing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can't look at this thing anymore. Okay. Nope. Eh. What's in here? A ghost? <gasps> I'm not talking to you no, yet. No, 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 no. You gotta go talk to her first. <laughs> Why? Don't you remember? Oh. Hi. I have to reach out to her. Poof. Old nurse's note fell. <coughs> July Today's 9th. report. It's about Ayako from room 207 again. Again. Around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I heard Madoka crying and hurried over to her. Her pet canary had had its head cut off with scissors. Ayako stood there, holding the bloody scissors. It was obvious what she had done. She just kept laughing, despite our scolding. It was as though she thought she, it was as though she had no second thoughts about it. Her mischief is going too far, and it's not just the inability to distinguish right from wrong. Beginning with Madoka, I'm beginning to worry that the influence Ayako is having on the other children isn't good. Even with the director involved, I haven't been able to devise an effective treatment for her. Spankin'. Spankin' 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 <sighs> Interesting picture And they just scolded her after she did that <laughs> Bad Ayako. Bad! 
kill the canary. Bad girl. Bad girl. No dessert for you tonight. Let me out. She's calling for Ayako. Dragging nurse. Bad Ayako. Bad. Yeah, she's screwed up. <laughs> yeah, let's go in there. Long dramatic pause. Guess what rooms this is? That's not creepy at all. <laughs> oh my god. Now it's gone. Yeah. I had something bang on my door really hard three times in a row once. So it's like bang, bang, bang. Yep. And nothing was there. I don't know if it was a ghost, but it really freaked me out. <laughs> a vampire girl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh crap! I had her! Fatal frame? Fatal frame? Yeah, I do too. But I don't think ghosts really hang out at graveyards much. They hang out in places where they experience pain or joy or things like that. I live next to a graveyard. But nothing happens where I live now. Luca, I know she might be. 
ってしまいましたあの島に無理を承知でお願いしますルカを助けてくださいHow did I get here? Okay. Kiriyashima's?、Mm -hmm. Is that how you say that? Missing girls found safely. Late last night, five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found and taken into protective custody. The girls were identified as follows Misaki Yasu, age seven. They're all age seven. Marie Shinomaya, Madoku Sukumori, Tomoe Nanamura, Ruka Yomo Yomotsuki. Yeah. This incident occurred on the same day as the Rugetsu Kagura dance and a series of mysterious incidents. The girls' disappearances had attracted some attention. They were placed in protective custody yesterday at around 11 p.m. in Amakura Bay, Amakura? Amakura. Amakura Bay Police Station. Officer Chao Shi Shior. <laughs> Choshiro. <laughs> you, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Choshiro Kirishima found the five girls on the premises of Hibara Hospital and their identities were confirmed. The police are pursuing personnel at the hospital as material witnesses in the kidnapping of the group of girls. Because, yes, I can't pronounce Japanese names. I'm sorry. You need to get your. Handbook! Uh, shows data obtained while advancing in the game. Yippee hooray. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Impatient Dara. Chapter 3. I have not played past Chapter 3, by the way. This is the forgotten day. Have you forgotten what you did in it? Yes, okay. Alright. So now it's taking elements from the third game where it's, you know, making summaries of what's going on. But we're gonna go and we're going to listen to the tape. The investigation. Tape brought here by Kirishima. It's from before the Rugetsu Kagura. あした行われる老月神楽はこの島出身の者にとって特別な意味を持つ祭りだという情報にかけてみる。灰原がこの島に渡ったという証言はまだ取れず、本部は動かない。東京での捜索を進めている。しかし灰原はこの島にいるような気
We have aliens in the chat room. We what? Have aliens in the chat room. Aliens? They live on the moon. Oh. He doesn't get a camera. He gets a flashlight. Spirit stone flashlight. Spirit stone flashlight soothes spirits using the light rated by the spirit stones. And it works just like the camera. Crazy. Is this what Sayaka mentioned? Was that blooming? Was what has happened to the people of this island? Even Hybara is here. Is he somehow responsible for all this? The ghost left something behind. Power up lens. Develop. And switch. Medicine's good. I don't think hugs is what they're interested in. Notes on laundering. Looks like a note is addressed to the staff. Regarding Luna Sedet Sedetta Sedata Sedata syndrome patients, please take notes on the nighttime wandering habits of patients. Contact me today to confirm the suspected are n no interferences with their treatment. What? <laughs> Contact me today to confirm the suspected are no interferences with her treatment process. Okay. <laughs> Translation fail. <laughs> On the night of the full moon, close the bar, close and bar the doors. I also record request a strengthening of patrol around the wards. Thank you. Yes. Translation fail. You know there there's going to be some errors. You know. Crystals. 
I'm waiting for my death in the waiting room. Cuddles of death? <laughs> Flashback. No. <laughs> really? Can we go in here? Can we go over here? You running from the crying girl? No. <laughs> but she was crying. You are running, aren't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can't go in there. Oh, this room. Asagi Haizuki. A medical chart lies here. Asagi Haizuki. Age 6. Hibara Hospital, second floor. From the typical behavior of being frightened of mirrors and the reported symptoms of memory impairment, she has diagnosis. She has diagnosis as Luna Sedata Syndrome. The degree of the condition is severe. Under the instructions of Director Hibara, there are plans to perform a surgical procedure next week. The surgery for Luna Sedetta syndrome has been performed twice on other severe patients, but no conclusion has been reached as to its effects. As an early treatment method of the Sedat Luna Sedetta syndrome, the surgery will be performed regardless, and the details will be recorded in a report at a later date. Please ensure confidentiality of the above information for the sake of the patient and her family. Hello, Kitty! Tigers. Yep. A note. My achievements studying cranial nerves were finally recognized, and I was appointed assistant to Dr. Hypar at Hybara Hospital on Rogetsu Island. Dr. Hybar is the leading researcher on Luna Sedata Syndrome, which has a memory loss condition particular to this island. As far as I can learn from the available materials, the Luna Sedata Syndrome is a mental disorder consisting of memory defects and other symptoms such as sleepwalking. But many things about it are still shrouded in mystery. Why is it limited only to this island? What causes it? These questions are still to be discovered. All this and more next time. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Dr. Hypara's approach to Luna Sedata Syndrome is unique, and many of his treatments are unprecedented. Precedented, thank you. Among his original methods is music therapy. Oh, God. That makes use of a so called <laughs> lunar melody. Is but that what that thing is? <laughs> That's uh, how they celebrate the moon? This was clang, 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 clang. Yep. It's the lunar melody. Which I feel will cause a stir in the world of... Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it'll cause a stir in the world of psychoanalysis, alright? Because anybody who hears that song is going to stab th themselves in the ears until their eardrums explode. Yeah. 
What's truly fascinating is how this research does not only lead to a method of treating mental illness, but also advances the theory that memories can influence the soul. To work under Dr. Hybara is surely a valuable experience that I could never have had on the mainland. Good for you. You get to work with Dr. Hybara. Blue crystal. Is there another shiny over there? Am I seeing things? I didn't see anything. I'm seeing things. I'm only wishing to see. Is that the way out? Let's see. Loading. Something just flickered in the image. It looked like a candlestick. diary. A notebook is placed here. The day before yesterday they did the surgery. There was a person who got worse after they had the surgery done, so uh, at first I refused. But the doctor said, it's okay. Since the operation, my brain has turned red. It hurts so much, I couldn't stand it. Afterwards, my hair was gone. Blood flows along with the tears. It's okay! My head is now red, and it seems to be melting. My head is now red, and it seems to be melting. It's okay if it melts. Um. <laughs> the surgery is kind of... Messy? Sadistic. Which guy? The guy she's playing? He... It looks like he investigated the disappearance of the girls and went after them or something. Yeah, he found them. And now he's back. Yeah, Ruka's mother asked him to come, you know, find her. Surgery prep room. Hospital map. So I gotta go back down to the waiting room. Surgery prep room. It appears to be key to the first floor. Now I believe a doll around here somewhere. Trash can? No, I don't think so. <sighs> there it is. That is a freaky picture. Oh, right. I have to switch the lenses for this. I don't know why there was a key in the ashtray. Maybe somebody was smoking the key and dropped it there when they were done. So we're gonna... This lens will take non-damaging photographs. We need that. Briefly. I don't remember what the trick was. I remember you struggled with it last time too, though. There we go. 
<clears throat> Don't forget to switch it back. Yep. It died fast. Yes. Well, re died? Re died. Or, or maybe knocked out? What is up with that guy at the window? Man standing by window. Is that the same guy? I think that's the assistant. Identified. Yes, that's a good word. So we gotta go back downstairs. It's okay, Slayer. We have the Song of Dawn. We'll stop them. Get it. That was coming through the Wii remote. I heard shiny. Must be behind there. Can we get back there though? Nope. Door's locked. Okay. Let's get caught on the lantern. <laughs> and come over here. Got the key. And I used it. Flicker, flicker. <gasps> Who turned on the strobe light? I don't know. Probably the ghost. They're having a dance party.
Surgical prep room. That'll come in handy. Oh, dolly. I like how his name doesn't actually fit on the screen. Yeah. Sometimes the text doesn't all fit. Holy crap. It's a moving locker. There's another shiny there. No! I want the shiny. Right there. I want it. Gimme. Yeah, there you go. Kitty, you can't dig any deeper. <laughs> now we're gonna go in there. Operating doctors. Okay. This is where they did their surgeries. Covered with dark stains. something? Yes. behind where the ghost was. Go ahead. I said no, but he doesn't listen. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. The doctor will do surgery again tomorrow. I don't want the surgery. Stupid surgery. More surgery. More surgery tomorrow. I hate the surgery. It hurts. Stupid surgery. It hurts. It hurts. The surgery hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. So much fun. It hurts. The fun much hurts. The surgery is fun. It hurts. I have the surgery fun. Fun. It hurts. I hate fun. Hurts. I hate her. You're creepy. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Death certificate. There is a post mortem certificate on the operating table. Confirm time you of death. You do not belong in the asylum. <laughs> Hi, Hyper. Confirm death, 23 a.m. 
circumstances of death. Symptoms rapidly deteriorated during the second post-op surgery for the Luna Sedata syndrome treatment. At midnight, she suddenly entered a state of confusion. The doctors provided first aid with sed sedation, but it proved in ineffectual. She died shortly thereafter. Cause of death unknown. Thought to be from rapid worsening of the illness accompanied by a general physical frailty. It's because you were poking her in the head. I don't know why she died. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, you actually get to see what they used. It's around here somewhere, I thought. No, I think it's in a different room. Okay. With shelves. Is this the way he came? Bye, Hyper! Have a nice trip to the afterlife! <laughs> Am I going the right way? No. Go back in there. Hell is great, by the way. They got all the good people there. It's party in hell every day, yo. Okay, there's a door over there. So that's where we're gonna go. Foxes. This is the room, I think. This is your room. When you were talking about where you were looking for the thingy that you wanted to show them that wasn't there, that should be in here now. Okay. <sighs> Assistant before desk. About the Rogetsu Kugura dance. Some kind of decorated leaflet. There you go. Every ten years on Rogetsu Island in October, a ritual called the Rogetsu Kugura dance is performed. Its exact origin is unknown, but the festival has been passed down by the people of Rogetsu Island, expressing interaction with the dead, a tradition with the intent of remembering the deceased. The mask, uh, Itsua the vessel who was the central dancer and the five shrine maiden girls called Kanade the instrumentalists play music through the whole night of fantastic Kagura dancing each member of the audience observing the Kagura dance wears a mask and holds a candle in their hand for a long time the festival was shrouded in a veil of secrecy but as of three years ago it has been open to visitors and tourists this festival that occurs once every decade is important to the islanders and it is said that any islanders that have gone far away from the island always return on the day of the Kagora. Sudden cut off of music. Assistant note two. At Hybara Hospital, I have the chance to actually observe patients with Luna Sedata syndrome. This is my first time seeing patients of the disease face to face. There's something very unsettling about this disease, but I can't quite tell what it is. With Luna Sedata Syndrome, a patient's memory and self-awareness deteriorate in such a manner that their whole personality breaks down. Ultimately, all of the patient's memories are forgotten and they become unable to do anything and die. Before that stage of the disease, most patients choose some other, more natural form of death. The patient is gradually broken, like being drunk, on this terrible disease, and you can see their body tremble. Even Dr. Hybara himself, who thinks that the Luna Sedata Syndrome in 
endemic endemic is a unique disease cannot quite grasp a decisive treatment so we're just gonna poke him in the head for a while <laughs> stabby stabby stab the doctor's treatments focus on surgery and folk remedies confronting the disease with many different cures tomorrow I plan on researching these treatments in more detail got a key where did the key lead? over there go forth and be attacked by ghosts did you find the thing you wanted them to... What the hell was that? It was a thumping noise. What was that thumpy noise? <laughs> uh, head... There they are. There they are. Okay. Okay, this... This... Is how they perform their surgeries. You can't see him very well. Well, I can't. There. Okay. Spiky. So they stuck it on the patient's head and screwed it in. Gee, I wonder how she died. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. You don't want to find out what that thumping noise was? No. I think it was just there to freak us out. <sighs> At least I'm pretty sure. Bad hyper. Kill the chat. <gasps> Use a phoenix down. Yeah, there's... Oh, oh. I heard shiny. It's over there. Go buy one. <laughs> then go steal one. Okay, I'm getting out of here. You're hyper. Just spaz your way through a br bank and get some money. <laughs> Why is hyper saying he has no money? Because I told him to use a phoenix down to revive the chat room. Oh. Yeah, those are kind of expensive. Hi, Cavill. <sighs> Excuse me. It's a wall. Oh my god! Bastard! <laughs> I'm awake now. <laughs> Blind you. Like so. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There we go. He has like a little candle or flashlight or something and he shines it at you and blinds you. You have to be careful.
character just has no camera. Nope. He has a flashlight instead. Hmm. Oh. In the center of the room. It'll be less You don't understand this game? Go ahead. I am an official at Hybara Hospital. This is my deposition about the kidnapping incident that occurred some days ago. From the well outside of the hospital, I heard an echo of a child's voice. At first I thought I was hearing things or imagining it. Then I began to hear the voice more and more clearly. A tearful voice and a different hollow moaning voice. It's those children, the children that were kidnapped. I can't stand this anymore. Hurry, before it's too late. Even as I write this, those children are being destroyed. Please investigate this hospital as soon as possible. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we're in chapter three right now. And we're playing the investigator who found the children like ten years ago, I think. And he doesn't have a camera. He has a spirit stone flashlight. The other characters have cameras, but this guy has the. It's like a little new, a new gimmick to Fail Free 4. Is there something on that in the center? There we go. It's all in the window. You took a picture of that one already. Yeah, right? I did. Blue. Oh. Hmm. Blocker. No. Hmm. I don't know. Well, yeah, he's pretty awesome compared to Kay in the third fail frame. Holy crap. Excuse me. What is going on in the chat? <laughs> it's falling apart. There we go. I, I don't understand what's going on in the chat. Hyper is ranting and raving. Session likes this character. The others want the girls with their short skirts back. Not too bad. And he wants a way into the elevator. Ugh.
you do if you had sanity? Here? Mm. Then no, I will not help you find sanity. Hyper, it wouldn't be hyper anymore. I've been streaming for a while. Holy hell. Pick up the shiny. <laughs> Ooh, another tape. Takashi Aiba. Document. There you go. In minor cases of Luna Sedata, fragmented, fragmentary memory loss and behavior similar to sleepwalking can be observed. Characteristically, the symptoms vary with the waxing and waning of the moon. The moon. When the moon is full, the patient's condition is stable, but there is a tendency to go outside and seek the moonlight. Around the new moon, the patient becomes more unstable and increasingly frightened. Once. Luna Sedata was called moonwalking or haunted walking, which seems to be derived from that behavior. In severe cases, the patient loses almost all memory but remains attracted to the moonlight and seeks out window sills and rooftops. Then the patient bathes in the moonlight. More lucent patients describe the feeling as momentarily regaining something they've lost. Come back, Hyper. A person who has lost their memory will always look up to the moon. Such an odd symptom can surely happen in a psychologically disturbed individual, but there is no explanation why a group of people would display the same symptoms. Since this is a peculiarity of Rogetsu Island's cultural sphere, there must be a relationship to its belief and customs. We love you. Hi, Snarf. Can I examine it? No. Bottles of medicines. Bottles. Bottles everywhere. So many doors, which door did I come in through? So I came in through this door. Uh, nope, fatal frame four. Mm. Mm. How could you think this is Resident Evil <laughs> 2? There's a little bit of a similar feel. Well, Resident Evil 2 came out in 1998. So? 
So the graphics would have been much worse. Well, maybe it's hard to tell over streaming. And since when did Resident Evil have flashlights? <laughs> I don't know, the characters kind of run similar. In that they go very slowly. No, not really. Um, not in the second one. I remember you going along through that station. <laughs> and parts. That was probably the third one. Maybe. <coughs> She's dying. I'm not dying. Look. I don't want to deal with you. Nurse, placing note. Small, small wooden token. Looks fairly old. Okay, I think this is the part where I stopped playing before, so... It's gonna be blind! <laughs> Dolly. Dolly. Here. Can't be opened. Scary face. They're everywhere. Yep. Assistant hiding something. What's he hiding? Magazines. Eh? Paging doctor. Assistant notes three. Good. Daily treatment of Luna Sedata syndrome continues. While we are making progress with Dr. Hybara's treatment, the methods are so different from the accepted medical standard that I feel quite confused. Dr. Hybara tends to show his own unique methods, as well as honoring this island's customs and using traditional treatment methods. Sticky stick. This is especially true for treatments with their own special utensils, some of which would be unthinkable in other hospitals. No, really? <laughs> what leaves me in even greater discomfort is the language used in this hospital which bears no resemblance to proper medical terminology. Patients in a progressed state show fear of mirrors, water, or other items that are able to reflect their faces. Toasters. Judging from their behavior, there must be moments when the patient feels that it is not his or her face that is reflected in the mirror. On the island, this is called butting, and this word is, is used in the hospital as a regular term. Furthermore, a state called blooming is feared the most. I don't know what kind of state this is, but everybody reacts strongly and pales at the word blooming. Apparently, the story goes that only the person who is budding can see their own face in this budding state. Of course, the sense of the word is not just to have budded. Upon seeing the face of another more severe patient, the symptoms seem to be transferred, which is called resonance. But surely this can't be so extreme. 
It's difficult to imagine, but there might be a contagious form of the Luna Sedata syndrome. And now, starting from tomorrow, Dr. Hybara is letting me do the preparations. I wonder what the so-called ceremony of passage treatment method is like. What am I supposed to do? All of this leaves me quite concerned. Okay. What are they seeing? Don't know. The lamp in the director's office is turned on. Is somebody here? <laughs> I guess he's dead. Or he just drifted away. He got tired of playing flashlights with you. Is Guys, there a doll in this room? Stop talking about porn. But that's what the internet is for. <laughs> they can listen to the song <laughs> then. <laughs> Cloudy moon box. There's a box with clouded moons carved on it. It seems to have some mechanism that won't open. The pattern shows a waxy moon and a waning moon. There are two grooved slots in the side. Hmm. You say there was a doll? There's there. a doll. Thank you, Frieza. Mm. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let me throw. 
Another door in here. Scary, scary, scary. Anything with him? Yeah. <sighs> Hi, Kitty. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was Cavill squeaking. Are you feeling ignored? Hungry? Sorry, yeah. need to take a kitty break here. Come here. Oh. Careful. Is he okay? You want me to go give him some food or something? I think they have food. Oh wow, it's almost 10. <laughs> I should probably stop the stream soon. and level that up. Awesome. Okay. Can I play with the kitty on my lap? <laughs> that is the question. Purr, purr, purr. <laughs> in the face. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> He's looking at me. And my cat's going nuts. Decorative carving on the shelf. Shiny? Too shiny. shiny. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My family has been protecting and continuing the ritual, acting as head priests. At the same time, they have fought against the Luna Sedata Syndrome as spiritual healers. This is Fatal Frame 4. As for me, I protect the teachings of the Hybara family and have built a hospital to treat patients of Luna Sedata Syndrome, researching it from a medical perspective. I believe it is my mission to research Luna Sedata using a combination of traditional and medical methods. The inhabitants of this island once tackled investigations into the human soul with their own original methods. One of these methods was the Kagura masks. In the Kagura dance, the Utsua, which means vessel, wears a mask, listens intently to the music, and loses herself within it. The Kanade's mask regulates the rhythm and beat of the dance. By wearing the masks, various parts of the human brain are stimulated. This is truly interesting. The possibility of the mask having power over the brain must be explored. The door to that as yet untouched area is now open. 
This was once the ultimate end to the Rogetsu Kagura dance. No, it was likely the ceremony of passage's true form. The ceremony is a potent way to enter the mind's abyss. But because it caused a disaster, the ceremony has been stopped for a long time and became taboo. That terrible tradition of disaster. However, in order to overcome this illness, we must venture into the taboo. The lunar eclipse occurs once every ten years. This opportunity to perform it again must not escape. We have no time. Cavill, I can't see. <laughs> okay. Ow. The next icon is on top of the desk. There's a row of numbers on the panel. Ow! Giddy. My face is bruised. Cavill paths hard. Yeah. Stop tapping your mommy. <laughs> it's all confused. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else in here. Bye, right. Spartan. Bye. <laughs> Piper's losing it. <laughs> Nothing down here. I think you just demonstrated what she means. <laughs> There's buttons there. I want to press the buttons. It's a shiny too. I want the shiny. You want, you want. Yeah. Maybe you have to examine the row of numbers more closely before you can examine that row of buttons. Let me go back. You're confusing him again. Please don't attack the Wii remote. <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Hyper Smash. Must be pretty painful, Hyper. Let's see. Maybe I have to take a picture? Maybe? God. Maybe it's just buggy. Bars. Picked up a small box with a crescent moon design. There is a single sheet of paper inside. With numbers. I should probably Three, write eight, those. Nine, five, one. I can write those down. I'll stop soon. <laughs> As a series of digits and what seems to be a, f a fragment of a Tanaka poetry written on it. Filing cabinet. The magic of the moon, the sides of a square. Oh, it's that one puzzle I had no idea how to solve. I'm gonna have to solve it again, aren't I? 
I know how to sell. Well, when we were watching that one guy play it, he explained what it was. Now I can't remember a damn thing about it. <laughs> then we can all figure it out. Except Hyper, because his head is pounding. I'm probably gonna stop because I'm getting really tired. The numbers are lined up on the intercom panel. Okay, so the first ones, so we have two left. And when you don't two, don't they three, have to all four, equal five, the same number? Six and seven. I'm gonna guess two comes first. Two? Seven? Six? How the hell did you know that? I'm good. Okay, now what moved? Bookshelves moved. What bookshelf moved? Somewhere close by. Maybe it was downstairs. Must be in the other room. <laughs> She's wibbling. Wibble. for the gun doctor. Yep. Yeah. See, something opened up. I don't know where it was, though. Is there another door? Showed bookshelves. This way. <laughs> Slayer's been traumatized by Redeads.
needs to be in here. You can do it. See? Probably for the best. Am I gonna scream? I heard a shiny. What the hell is that? There is a leak again. Contraption. Hmm. Research. Good. Currently, the most promising treatment method is surgery. It's a treatment that works by adding or removing direct stimuli to the brain. At first, because of its experimental nature, we had to overcome many difficulties, but since we started seeing results, it is nearing its establishment as an effective treatment method. However, a few days ago, just when we thought the surgery was successful, we had an unfortunate fatality. Mm-hmm. Having lost his memory and become an empty shell, the patient died, but then his face turned into a bizarre shape. I immediately dissected it, but it was clearly a sign of blooming. He dissected his face? Yeah. The actual cause of the failure is unknown. Research on surgical treatment must be continued, but blooming must be avoided. That disaster it remains fresh in island folklore. The day without suffering cannot be repeated. Okay. It's a shiny. Well, she's trying to find a safe point so she can end it, Hyper. Yeah. Where the chapter ends. Either way. <laughs> An old sinister looking machine lies on the bed. Dr. Hybara, what was he doing here? He was poking people in the brain. That looks like um like shock treatment. Or something. It could be. He did say stimulate the brain. Yeah. Is all that was down here? Oh, books. There's a way through there, right? Oh, uh, okay. Wait. Oh, that's just a sink. Okay. Sick bastard. Shrine. Hmm. Well, you're supposed to be shiny over here. Maybe it's just a shrine. Wait. Yeah, there's an exam in here. Passage yes, just caved in. The moon is almost full. Does that mean you're almost at the end of the chapter? No, that's his power for his um, spirit ah. thing. It slowly recharges. But if you run out, you're kind of screwed. At least for a little bit until it recharges. Tiny doors! Doors like that make me nervous. Elevator. Open this not 
た場所を見つけた Flashback, right? Mm hmm. From ten years ago. chapter in the video yes I'd like to save <laughs> yes sniper cliffhanger how else are we gonna get you to come back okay guys I've streamed for two hours this evening we will stream again soon. We'll let you know. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Saturday. Okay, Hyper. Well, fine, Hyper. Emo Hyper is emo. <laughs>